A magical moment in astrology, which happens only once a year, is upon us on Tuesday, April 11th. This moment is called Jupiter Kazemi, which is a fancy way of calling the Jupiter Sun conjunction. In astrology, Jupiter is the planet of good luck, and when it comes together with the Sun, all of its power, its abundance, and optimism gets enhanced, which is a truly potent and opportune time. Let's take a closer look and break it down for all 12 signs. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive astrology. I do readings. If you'd like to work with me, check out the link down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave me a like or a comment. It encourages me to bring you more videos and it helps work with YouTube algorithm, helps show my content to more people and helps me help you. <laughs> So I really appreciate that. Before we dive in, wanted to share with you a couple of my latest planetary magic creations. Um, as you know, I work with astrology to capture a very powerful and happy transits. And so the last two candles I created is Fire of Aries, which has a beautiful moon in Aries conjoining Jupiter, a lot of courage, good luck, optimism energy. And this one smells like honeydew melon and it's decorated with the golden and silver foil. It smells delicious. Um, so really perfect for anyone who struggles asserting themselves, struggles presenting ideas. And this one, in my opinion, is likely the best smelling of all of my candles. This candle was created on the night of the Moon-Venus conjunction, and the Moon in here is exalted, Venus is in rulership, Sun is exalted, so it has three powerful placements, and it smells like strawberries and cream. It's really amazing for like, you know, art, creativity, passion, and abundance. And I also have a few remaining of Jupiter and Pisces candles. So if you're struggling with um, hope and you're struggling with optimism, this one could be perfect for that. But thank you for listening. Now that's out of the way. Let's talk about Jupiter Kazemi. So Jupiter in astrology, like I said, is the planet of growth, wisdom, optimism, and abundance. Jupiter believes that things will get better. Jupiter is just like very kind of optimistic, uplifting, and powerful, right? Jupiter is classically connected to gurus, um, teachers who are not like, you know, like Mercury is more like science teachers. Jupiter is someone who will tell you tales and kind of make you believe more spiritual things. It's not going to like take things apart. So Jupiter likes to unite things. And Jupiter represents growth. Jupiter represents expansion and opportunities. The sun is our ideals. It's our consciousness, right? Like the sun is that kingly, royal, conscious energy directs us towards some things. It represents somewhat idealized at times, but yet perfect image of what we desire. So. Let's say for some people, they desire to be a parent. They see themselves as like being a perfect parent. Other people may see themselves as a successful business owner, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever it might be for you, um, head of the company, right? Or like the leader of the community. There are so many, so many ideals we'll have. And Kazemi is the moment of the perfect conjunction. So conjunction happens when two planets come together and in the skies, literally, they kind of align. You cannot see Jupiter right now because the light of the sun is so overpowering, but Kazemi is the moment that they're perfectly conjunct. And normally when the planet is close to the sun, it's because the sun is so overpowering, we call it combust, meaning that it's invisible, it kind of struggles, it's going through a process of rebirth. Yet when it's perfectly close to the sun, it's protected. At least, you know, that's like what we astrologers believe. It's protected, it's empowered, it's enhanced. So having Jupiterian energy be kind of strengthened is the day where you don't want to sit still. Like if you sit still, it's likely to be a magical day. It's likely to be really enjoyable and you'll have a good time. 
but the best way in my mind to use this day and you can you know it's april 11th but you can probably start feeling this energy on the 10th and then into april 12th but it's the strongest on the 11th it goes exact around 6 p.m eastern um let me tell you the exact time 6 6 p.m eastern so the entire day, April 11th, is perfect for taking action. Overall, like I said, you can experience a sense of well-being, a sense of inner alignment and harmony. You feel more optimistic. The energy is contagious. So you feel excited. If somebody is sad next to you, they're likely going to absorb your energy and feel happy, making this a perfect day for showing up in front of people, presenting your ideas, asking for their support you're generally luckier. Jupiter means good luck. When it's enhanced, there's even more luck. You can expect more opportunities to grow, present your ideas, become a leader, teach, travel, um, opportunities to expand your income are also likely opportunities to expand your knowledge, right? You may be getting more compliments, maybe a bonus or some kind of gift can come your way. And it's not just one side, right? Like it's it's very much, you feel more aligned in the with the universe. So if the universe gives to you, you give to others. So you're also feeling like very generous and very happy to share. Um, relationships go well. It's a lovely opportunity to sign a contract, to negotiate, to expand your circle, even go on a date. Jupiter not necessarily is the most romantic planet. Jupiter can be more about like wisdom teaching, right? Like knowledge because it's, it's more spiritual versus like personal like Venus. But it's still a good time, I think, to like go on a date or start a relationship. The, the main the main underlying current here is that you will not go wrong, right? Like it's it's really hard around this time to go wrong because it's it's an excellent time for, like I said, relationships, investments, business, um, new beginnings of business projects, starting starting studies, going on a travel, and you have this like universe gives you a green light, gives you a good luck, and it's. It's all in line of what Jupiter and Aries has been trying to do, right? Like we have the Sun and Aries, exalted Sun. We have Jupiter and Aries. Both are about independence. Both are about you and your desires and standing apart and doing things that are risky. And maybe you feel scared, but like Jupiter Sun together just says, it's okay do it right like don't worry about it you'll figure everything out later <laughs> i mean don't jump off the cliff don't do reckless things right but it's likely something you've already been thinking about right that's kind of like the the moment if you're thinking of going with your business and you've been standing in one spot and thinking when is this a good time is this a good time is this a good time now is a good time so aries energy like i said very kind of brave idealistic excited energy and because it's so personal in a lot of ways it's likely that you are getting in touch with your true desires and taking action on personal projects so i'm gonna do a quick run of possibilities of what this could bring for you check out as well my jupiter and aries video there could be more information there you know i always think i'm gonna do a quick run it ends up being not a quick run but it's likely going to be like kind of quick like ideas of what this could be. So if you are an Aries rising, you're having a Jupiter Kazemi in your first house. And first house deals with your physicality, deals with your physical body, right? With your expression of the, in the world, with your image, with your persona. So you can experience new beginnings there. And there's of course lots and lots of ways this can manifest, right? This could be like an inner sense of believe in yourself and maybe taking a risk, asking for a raise, asking for a promotion, being like, this is what I deserve, this is who I am. Um, when it comes to health and physical body, this could be an inception of a new exercise routine. This could be, this could be a moment you decide to become a fitness trainer. You, become, you wanna become like bolder, bigger, and you're getting in touch with your true desires, right? Um, any opportunities to teach, 
to grow, to travel are also likely and you can be the one who's creating those opportunities. You're basically not waiting for other people to give you a green light. If you are a Taurus rising, Jupiter Kazemi occurs in your 12th house and 12th house deals with mental health. So this could be a moment where you have a breakthrough and you feel free from something that's been holding you back, feeling free from the limitations of the past, from some type of, you know, curse of past trauma is likely here. So breakthroughs in therapy, breakthroughs while journaling, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to your intuition and the messages that you're receiving. Uh, 12th house deals with hidden things. It's classically the place of blind spots, right? So Jupiter in the sun can make something come up that makes you realize that you need to release a bad habit. It could also be the time when you realize your true calling. And 12th house with, you know, Taurus risings, they've been a lot more interested in astrology. I've gotten a lot more Taurus rising clients, which generally they tend to be a bit more skeptical, at least in my opinion. Um, if you are a Taurus rising who has recently started to dive more into astrology and spirituality, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, like kind of getting in touch with your spiritual side, Jupiter Kazemi in the 12th house is perfect for taking action in the spiritual realm, becoming a yoga teacher, becoming a meditation coach, even becoming a therapist, right? Kind of taking action when it comes to being there for other people and also getting in touch with your hidden talents. So it's not just difficult things, but it's also your hidden talents. If you are a Gemini rising, there's Jupiter Kazemi in your 11th house. So imagine a bright spotlight shining on your house of friendships, networks, hopes, dreams, and wishes. And there is like this spotlight, but it's also jewels and diamonds and gold that, <laughs> that are kind of like bursting up in that house. Um, and this could be a lot of things, right? Starting with friendships, there may be opportunities that a friend brings to you. Maybe you're starting a new venture with a friend. Maybe you are starting, I don't know, creating an app together or hosting a blog to get blog together, hosting a podcast, whatever it might be. Um, 11th house deals with social media and the collectives and your fans. So this could be a very benevolent time when other people are opening doors for you and supporting you spiritually, mentally, financially, in a lot of different ways. This could be very literally fulfillment of a dream, something you've been working on for a long time. And Jupiter Kazemi just drops an idea in your head or an opportunity in your hand um, that makes that dream come true. But it's very, it's a very social house, right? So don't stay home. Um, or if you are at home, like reach out to some people, send some emails, connect to others, present your ideas, like a perfect day to go and announce something on social media. Cannot go wrong. If you are a Cancer rising, Jupiter is Kazemi in your 10th house. And 10th house is all about your outward reputation. It's what you're known for in the world, right? Like 10th house is often very kind of connected to career. And for many of you, it will be about career. It will be about new projects, new opportunities, maybe starting a business, maybe beginning a new kind of chapter in your professional life. Yet for other people, it is, like I said, what you're known for in the world. And maybe you're switching. Maybe you're going away from working a lot to working less, right? Maybe you are becoming more involved in the local community. Honestly, a 10th house is sometimes also representative of marriage and like a change of your status in terms of from single person to a married person. So I can see some of that happening too. Of course, Jupiter is a teacher or teachers. So taking on a professional role or taking on a role in the world that involves more sharing your wisdom, right? More kind of teaching in formal or informal context is highly likely here. And let me know how this resonates. Let me know what's happening in your professional life. Keep in mind that this is a Kazemi pre-solar eclipse. We're getting a solar eclipse on the night of April 19th, April 20th. So exciting times for Cancer rising, sort of technically all cardinal rising signs. If you are a Leo rising, Jupiter is Kazemi in your ninth house. And ninth house is 
the journey towards your ideal career, right? Like the ninth house is education, travel, publishing, writing, legal matters. So with Jupiter being Kazemi here, a chance of taking on a new course of study, uh, a chance of taking on a job that involves travel, moving, um, writing, starting to write or starting to publish your work, maybe getting an opportunity to publish your work and some important magazine right like in kind of a new source of course in our days magazine could be like a TikTok page or like an instagram page or like a big account reaching out to you is also highly likely and the ninth house is more than more than education travel legal matters it's also it's also a place of faith it's the place of belief and so the changes connected to the ninth and are, are not always visible and tangible. They can also be a sense of increasing faith in oneself, a sense of hope in the face of adversity and challenges and growth, right? So, so feeling like you're believing in yourself, maybe you're going through some kind of transformation in your religious beliefs and you're opening up to new ideas and new sources of income potentially or new kind of new knowledge, new people as well, because like ninth house deals with foreign people. So be on the lookout for like teacher, mentor, guru type people at this time, as well as opportunities to teach, mentor, maybe resolve a legal battle in a harmonious way around this time. If you are Virgo rising, Jupiter conjoins the sun in your eighth house. And eighth house is the place of shared resources. It's the things that other people bring you and things that other people share with you. So what could this wonderful opportune time bring, right? Like it could bring a chance to partner up with someone, maybe, a, I don't know, um, an agency reaches out and asks you to promote them or someone asks you to become like a regular writer, right? Or there is a business opportunity. This could be a lovely time for your partner's finances because eighth house is money that other people bring you. So Jupiter Kazemi could be a moment that your partner goes through some kind of transformation, wins a lottery. <laughs> if they do, let me know. Uh, wins the lottery, gets an inheritance, gets a bonus, right? Like you are very much in the eighth house benefiting through other people. So both like a chance to work with other people as well as opportunities coming to your loved ones and then benefiting you are examples of Jupiter Kazemi in this house as well as eighth house deals with healing. And it's, it's interesting because like eighth house is sudden events and Jupiter Kazemi can bring benefits through sudden events. And those sudden events are not like immediately always good, right? Like it might be someone passing away, which is a sad event, but it benefits you. So, and anything else like that, right? Like getting in a car accident and then getting like a huge payout and coming out of it unscathed. Is that the word? I think it's the word. So let me know how it goes if you are a Virgo rising. For Libra rising, Jupiter conjoins the sun in the seventh house. And seventh house is all about partnerships. It's about relationships, one-on-one -on -one dynamics. And Mars currently is in the 10th house for you. So Mars rules. This Jupiter Kazemi rules both Jupiter and the sun. So I can definitely see this as a beautiful time for professional collaborations. Similarly to uh, the eighth house for Virgo risings, there might be opportunities and people reaching out to you, right? It's the house of other people. So there may be good luck. There may be abundance coming through them, a chance to put your resources with them, a ch chance to sign an exciting contract. Um, a partner can be going through a renewal or a change in their life. They may get an exciting opportunity, which, you know, if you love them, you will be excited for them. Uh, romantically, romantic developments are also quite likely here, as in joining sor joining forces. Like it's you know it's a it's a beautiful moment, and it's a lot of times it's an inception of something. So in the house of relationships and business partnerships, it could be like an inception of a new business idea, 
an inception of a relationship, an inception of a child, right? Something where you're joining forces with the other person and you're working on something. And let me know how this resonates in the comments below. If you are a Scorpio rising, Jupiter conjoins the sun in your sixth house. And sixth house is the place of daily work, health, service, hurdles, problem solving. So in terms of daily work, there could be professional opportunities with this transit, a chance to solve a health issue you've been battling, where maybe you meet a healthcare provider who represents this Jupiter figure and gives you some good answers, right? And it's not like a magic wand and everything is immediately better, but there is like hope and optimism. There may be new professional projects, right? Like I said, new opportunities, your health can be improving. And like the sixth house, Jupiter Kazemi also feels like you're working on something. It might be like a legal project. It might be a health related kind of, if you're a health specialist, right? Um, something you're working on and maybe it feels like burdensome or tiresome at time, but because it's a positive energy, you are committed, you are joyful and grateful. And this can be a time when your hard work pays off and when you get rewarded for the effort you put in. If you are a Sag rising, Jupiter Kazemi occurs in your fifth house and fifth house is the place of joy. So Jupiter in the fifth could just be a chance for you to make your life more joyful, right? And it's, we, we often narrow, narrow the fifth house down to um, romance, creativity, children, sports are there too. Like, you know, people who are like athletes and exercise a lot, you can find them having strong fifth house placements, but it's, it's not, it's more than that, right? Like I said, it's the house of joy. And for everyone, joy is a very different thing. For some people, joy may be found in the successful career. For other people, it may be about having kids. For somebody else, it might be about being a painter and being a successful painter. So having Jupiter Kazemi in the fifth house could bring opportunities and inception of things that make you more joyful. And that could be a new romance coming into your life a new stage in existing romance, right? Like moving it to a different level. It could be pregnancy. It could be very much connected to kids, like getting pregnant, um, taking action to get pregnant, right? Like seeing a fertility specialist, um, a new beginning in the life of your child, maybe feeling more connected with your child or them going through an important period, maybe them get, getting some kind of opportunity. And creatively, this could be a very inspired time. Also a great time to figure out what you like to do for fun, right? Go out dancing, paint, explore outside, have fun. If you are a Capricorn rising, Jupiter conjoins the sun in your fourth house. And here we are looking at the sector of home, family, living situation. And Jupiter Kazemi blesses that part of your chart, right? It could be an exciting time where you get a chance to buy a house or you get an offer on your home. Or I have a Capricorn rising friend and she's looking at a possibility of maybe living between two locations, you know, kind of like having, having two properties that she's splitting her time between. So, so new beginnings when it comes to your living situation an exciting development when it comes to real estate property land that you are either you either own or you want to get maybe you get a mortgage maybe you get kind of approved for something you've been working on for a while you your family can be doing exceptionally well there could be new beginnings in the life of the family as in you know a parent heals from from something they've been struggling with or as your sister has a baby, yeah, like, like your family can be growing and expanding. And on a more spiritual level, Jupiter Kazemi in the fourth house can also create a sense of comfort, belonging, and peace in your heart, where perhaps you're healing something from the past that has been frustrating or blocking your growth. <laughs> if you are an Aquarius rising, Jupiter Kazemi activates your third house and third house deals with your communication skills, 
your hobbies, your talents, your business ideas. But in a lot of ways, it's like what you have to share, the, vo the words you want to share with other people, the gifts you want to share with other people. Um, it's your everyday life, your schedule, your tech, your transportation, your sibling. So a lot of things can be happening in the third house, but mainly just think of like, what is your message? What are you excited about? What would you rather spend your everyday doing? And then Jupiter Kazemi can bring those opportunities. It can offer you a chance to write. It can offer you a chance to study or teach. Third house is the local community. So maybe you're stepping up in a different role in your local community, starting a business, making changes to your everyday life to be more happy, right? Like if your work involved a lot of travel and you felt frustrated with it, perhaps you're making adjustments and choosing to work from home more. There might be an exciting short trip you're going on. There might be exciting people that you're meeting. All in all, it's, it's a lovely time to think about what you like talking about, what comes easy to you, what is joyful, and how can you perhaps take that to the next level. Last but not least, if you are a Pisces rising, there's a Jupiter Kazemi in your second house. And second house is the place of values and it's the place of money. So let's talk about money first. Having Jupiter Kazemi in the second house can be very much financially beneficial. You may get a big tax return, for example. You may be getting um, a return on investment, a bonus, a client pays you, you get like an opportune Niti, <laughs> an opportunity to change your income, you get a new job and your salary goes up, right? It's a lovely time to ask for a raise, ask for a bonus, start a business. And in terms of values, Jupiter Kazemi in the second house is perfect for self-worth and believing in yourself. And Take some time on that day to write a personal mantra or a few, right? And like put them on a sticky note, put them on your bathroom mirror and read them for yourself every day. This could be also like a lovely time to, it's, it's self-worth and it's Aries, right? Like appreciate all of your qualities, appreciate your courage, appreciate your strength, appreciate your kindness and empathy and sensitivity and all the things that we so love about Pisces rising. Um, I'm dating one, so now I appreciate Pisces risings even more. <laughs> but like I said, it could be a lovely time for spiritual or financial abundance. More so, Jupiter definitely tends to prioritize spiritual growth. So kind of expanding your life and going for opportunities that give you a chance to teach, to guide others, counsel others, help and heal others is very likely here. So this is it, a very lovely transit, not much negative to say about it. Of course, you know, there can always be a danger of overdoing it and taking things too far, but hopefully we're not gonna go there. Let me know if you have any questions, you know, check out my website, Anastasia Does Astrology, for my beautiful, tasty smelling candles. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.